Wait, so, I mean, there's obviously the fate of a certain character is kind of ambiguous at the moment. They're using the shit out of that in promotional images. And That's stuff what I'm like saying. That. It's like, so they can have we talk to about this? No, no, don't mention Jon Snow at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Very good. It's on the posters, right? Yeah, it's on yeah. the posters. I mean, that, at this point, the show's been wrapped for a long time. Right? Yeah, if you the, haven't the seen it at this season, point, it's obviously yeah. not on your priority I, list. I hear that, like, okay, so... Wait, what? Hey, how's it going? You fucking ass! What did I do? Edit, edit that out of the final version. No! That's not a thing! That won't be a thing! No, just put a big old bleep. Yeah, and then, bleep and then you it. Like a me. Mug. Are you serious? <laughs> We didn't even want to say. J j I've gone three years without any God spoilers, damn Blaine. It, dude. <laughs> what was that? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was like, there's only one thing Blaine could say that could potentially be a spoiler, and you fucking said it. Is that like Why? the spoiler? What? What was the thought process in your brain? I don't. You've I, seen the show. I don't watch. I don't read the books, and I know that they're diverging. But it hasn't happened in. <laughs> okay, but I thought it was something that they abandoned because the person that I talked to about it They said that, that it wasn't Suppo something third. Supposedly they have abandoned that for the TV My show, is but we don't, we don't know for certain Okay, you know, it's not gonna you know, happen. I'm not even gonna enjoy sitting there watching and waiting for it to happen or not to happen <laughs> It's like every time. Oh, I'm really red right now. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna, <laughs> change, I'm gonna change the subject. I have a legit concern Do you ever worry that when you die? <laughs> I can't think seriously. Why? You're, you're like, oh, go on. Me being serious? Yes. <clears throat> Do you ever wor worry that when you die, you become a ghost that can't move from where you died? Like, uh, 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 you just have to, like, sit there juice? as a ghost, exactly where your body got annihilated, but you just stuck oh. there for eternity. So, and then I was worried, worrying about, what if I'm in, like, an air disaster where two planes crash midair, and I'm just stuck at 35,000 feet with, like, a bunch of people I don't like. Is it forever? Cold? Okay. Is it cold? No, you're, ghost you're a ghost. You don't oh, care. I mean, look, come on, ghost law. Or, <laughs> nah, or you could be Elvis, and you're haunting a shitter for, <laughs> for all eternity. Is that still there? That that toilet where uh, he died? I'm sure it's in Graceland. Yeah. Why? Who who would remove that to that toilet? I'm sure it's on their tour. You oh, stop by and see it. Like, what would be the coolest place to be as a ghost? The coolest place to be as a ghost. I uh, feel like underwater would be the worst. Film porn That's set. Underwater is bad too. Porn. Yeah. Oh no, I don't want to see that. I think he'd be fun. Doing what? You know, you're like you died during a porn shoot, and you just haunt the porn <laughs> place forever, you're watching porn. <laughs> Know. <laughs> you don't have a penis the, anymore. You're the <laughs> masturbating ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, um, spooky. Well, okay, how about this? A movie theater. Because then you get to you watch the oh, movies oh, for, that's great. for eternity. Perfect as long place as, to die. As long as that theater still exists. Unless you died with your eyes closed. <laughs> you come, come on. <laughs> you know you're, so you're dying in a physical state, too, that you were in, or whatever? No, you'd be in the same position, but maybe you can look around. What if you died in a movie theater, but you were facing the wrong way? You're facing <laughs> away from the screen. <laughs> okay, like, okay. God so damn annoying. it! You just hear every movie. <laughs> God, what's so going on? you've been trying to watch it in like the reflection of the projection window. You it's hope like, that Blaine sits down in front of you so you can see it in the reflection of his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Gavin, oh. now I'm interested to know what is your ideal afterlife? What if you, when you die, what do you want to happen to you? Gavin frees conscience. Oh God! Uh, <clears throat> wow! I'd like to just do do it again. Just be inside my own head again. Okay, you wouldn't want to like live through another person's <laughs> body or something, or nah. <laughs> <laughs> I moved it away <laughs> to cough. Okay. So you're saying like you come back and you're just on the ride along in your well, own like, body I, and just kind of like you forget so much of your life. Yeah. That mm. It'd be cool just to see it again. Oh, I wouldn't like be able the... to control it. I'd just watch it again. So okay, Could you fast forward or would you be stuck? Like... Yeah, I can skip around. I just have okay. like life DVR basically. Okay. That would that would actually be really cool because then there's like old moments like from a long time ago. Like ah, this is gonna have yeah. relevance in the future. Okay, here's my per it, it wouldn't just be limited to my life. It would be everything from like a thousand years ago to two thousand years in the future, and I could DVR around and I could free cam and look at stuff. So you're in Halo 3's... Yeah. yeah so I'd be like, I'd be like, yeah, all right. Well, what happened with JFK? Like what happened to all this other crap? Mm. And I just what if, like even with that DVR, you still couldn't figure it out. Wouldn't that be really frustrating? Oh, I'd be so annoying. No, you could watch the bullet what trail. If, like, what if it's like bad security camera? It just like dropped a few frames and skipped over it. I'd be like, what? Happened? Or it's like, or your view is the Subruder film. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs>
That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I think, that'd uh, be good. I'd, I'd pick that. So you're saying like a way, like for instance, if I wanted to see what this would look like in 10 billion years, I could see it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that that's amazing. <laughs> when like the earth or the sun consumes the earth. And you could watch yourself like banging people from different angles and stuff. Like being on a porn set. Yeah. It's Blaine's dream come true. Yeah. Yeah, I like this version of Gavin's Heaven. That's nice. I, I feel like the DVR <laughs> of my cool. life, though, might be kind of depressing at times because I would just see myself watching renders on yeah, the you computer don't and be like, this is so much. You had such a <laughs> limited window of life yeah. and what? you chose to do this. This is what happened. Watching Brandon's life as a ghost would be hell. <laughs> I think if you actually knew that you were going to get that at the end of your life, yeah. you would live your life very differently. Yeah, you'd live You'd extreme. be like... You'd be living and you'd be like, I'm going to hate watching this later. This sucks. I'm going to do something good. Yeah, but yeah, huh. DVR, you don't have to watch it. You can yeah, skip that. You're like, oh, then I don't care. Like, I'll just do a couple of exciting things and I, rewatch those. I feel like sometimes it'd be like The Office where you would like look over like your shoulder into where you think you're going to be looking and like make contact with yourself. Like, oh, look what happened. Like spiking the lens. Yeah. Like, can you believe that just happened? Oh. Making a face. You know, I, there's like moments of drunkenness where I'll stop and then I'll just like really contemplate what I'm doing and be like, I will remember this moment of clarity and what stupid decision I just made and then I'll just continue on with the drunken night. I don't know. It's, if it's, you had to recall every memory of your life, mm -hmm. how long would that take? Like, like, if I said, if just I, as long as you've been alive. No, because you forget most of it. I thought you said if you had to. Okay, I see. Yeah, so yeah, if I, I remember if I said, from like the age of 11 on, everything before that, nah. Like if I, if I said, tell me everything that you did since when you turned 20 to right now, how long would you be talking for? Like an hour? Like it wouldn't I be would very... hope it would be more than an hour. <laughs> Could you actually do it? I think so. Uh, really? I think. Oh, I, think oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I, I, don't think, I, I, do, I do like to talk a lot. Yeah. So I do have that going. I just feel like you forget like 95% of the details of your entire life. Yeah. Well, what's the age of your earliest memory? I think mine's like two. Really? Yeah. Okay. I think mine's like four or five. I think I remember around two also. Like some, I remember some really early stuff. I was scared of a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> so is it true that Loud. you're the more you remember something, the more that memory like deteriorates and you just like start to forget it? I'm not crazy. I, I find that if the more you tell a story, the more that story like overwrites the original memory to the point where you've like left details out of the story and then you forget them. My <coughs> first traffic ticket, I can like remember how it kind of actually happened and how I told it and then now they're like kind of blending a little bit. Yeah. But I guess me saying that makes me really, never mind. Do you feel like- That you're a liar? Yeah. <laughs> some of the, do you feel like some of the things you remember, you're not, rest, you might be remembering, remembering it? Like it might not be real, you just might remember thinking something happened. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, it makes it, sense. Yeah, I, nothing. I just, it's all gone. It's just the memory. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all gone. Just a render. Oh, it's depressing thought. Yeah, what a, what a depressing thought. <laughs> it's all gone. Yeah, I mean, it's like, if you ask me, like, age 10 to 20, I'd be like, well, here's seven things. All right, what did you do? That, what, how old are you now? 29. All right, what did you do? What have you done since you turned 29? Watched renders. I don't know. <laughs> didn't didn't go out to eat lunch. <laughs> no. Stayed inside. No windows. Um, I don't know. I haven't gone. On, it's like when you don't have like life events. Like you're not going out on vacation or doing anything crazy. When's the last time you took a vacation? Like days off or went somewhere. Like went somewhere. Like took serious time. That off. wasn't work related. Uh, went to Mexico. I went to Mexico for a few days to Monterey. Like a, I don't know, eight months ago. Was, there was a blockbuster there. Oh, it was cool. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, it wasn't really like much of a vacation. It was like seeing family, mm -hmm. like vacation, probably when we went to Disney World, like two years ago. I was a part of your last vacation. Yeah, that's sad. I'm sorry. Hey, Blaine. What's up? You got a lady. It's a weird transition. You I mean, got a total deer in the headlights. Look. Uh, Just, let's hit it. What we got? Uh, well, I visited San Francisco to visit a lady friend. How'd you guys meet? Uh, oh, fuck you guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you she, came out here. We, no, 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 I know. 90% of the things you talk about in this company are about your, about girls. Yeah, but I'm keeping his or her identity protected. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we, uh, so it ends up that we went to like several conventions, I think like four or five conventions together. And we've been within like a 10 foot distance of one another and have never met. And then... How do you know you're within 10-foot distance? Because we've rechased our steps and been like, oh, yeah, I was at that party, and, she, and she'd be... Or she, she's an attendee? He or she would be like, yeah, no, well, maybe. 
Sure. Yes. There. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to give away this person's You're identity. So is it someone? Is it someone famous? <gasps> so, <laughs> Blaine, you're the worst, like, liar, the worst, like, oh, person just, I've ever seen trying to cover up. Oh, uh, you know, I want to be able to tell the story because I don't want to piss off the people at home that are listening and be like, Without saying guy. anything, do I know? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, you know, you're thinking of that, Pert. Are you thinking of that? No, no, Is no. Is it no. Felicia Day? <laughs> no. You heard it here first. It's not Felicia Day. Uh, <laughs> we're not playing the guessing game either. Uh, but... No, so we've retraced <laughs> our steps. Game. We've been like, oh, yeah, I was, you know, here. And I was like, oh, well, I talked to that person. Oh, well, I was talking to that person. Like, oh, you were, you know, so we like, but yeah, we're like we've been to several things together and have never once ran to her. And the, the only reason I found her was uh, she like. Him or her. Hit him or her. Uh, she he slash she. he contacted me via social network or whatever. They like commented on something. And then I was like, who the fuck is this person? And then I, we started talking and then, yeah. Have you deleted Tinder? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is just, just comfortable because I don't, I don't like coming out about you know like it. It's like an added level of pressure now because like people know about it. Yeah, you know? no, I, I hear you, but I don't know about it. I like I like San Francisco. How long were you there? Uh, six days. I'm giving him an out. Five or six mm -hmm. days. Thank you. Uh, no, it's a cool town. Um, I got to visit. What color is that hair? <laughs> uh, so a couple I can't even say that cuz you know. a couple of trips ago Oh I, so you can't say it because it's like a unique color. A couple of trips ago when I, when I went to San Francisco <laughs> earlier this year. Well mm -hmm. no, I mean when we did recaps downtown, that oh, was the yeah. most fun that I had is like interacting with people, like an interview or something like that. That's fun. We uh it, but we we got we got pretty tipsy whenever we went down there too though. Fair enough. Yeah. That was fun. We peed in an alleyway together. You remember the weirdest things in the world. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> I guess add I like that to the things you. I've done in the last, like, <laughs> decade. Those we, are fun. We filmed, <clears throat> God, I mean, it's been a long time now, but a couple of years ago we filmed those. We, we ended up scrapping it. We filmed that, like, polished podcast intro we were going to transition yeah. to, but Bernie killed it. Uh, thanks, Bernie. And uh, why do you get rid of it? <gasps> he thought it was. He thought it looked too slick. He thought it was like too high production value, and people wouldn't like it. I was there for um, years. Yeah, and I like I pretended like <laughs> I, I was taking a dump in an alley. <laughs> yeah, way, too, like, way too slick. Some homeless dude walked by and was, like gets into the shot. I was like, "Hey, what's going on here? You you're acting like you're homeless? That's cool." And I was like, "Oh my god." <laughs> that was that was you, me, Brandon, and Esther. I remember yeah, yeah. shooting that, and this fucking homeless guy would not leave you alone. Do we and have any of that footage to show? I looked, for, sure I looked for it recently. I wanted to show it at an event, and uh, we couldn't. Find it. It's buried oh, somewhere in an but old drive. Gus, I remember you were like, you pulled your pants and you're like, all right, everybody ready? Had your pants ready? You did it? You pull them down, and then the guy came up and you're like, because <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm sitting there with my ass hanging out and some fucking homeless you dude. You actually pulled your boxers like, down. Walking up to me, like talking to her, like, oh my god. Did you pull your underwear off? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, he was showing out. He was showing crack. But I remember well, the, your the knob flipped down between your legs. No, that's an extra bonus. The homeless the guy floor. that I remember, he was like, "Hey, you acting homeless?" Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what he said. But I felt bad. I was like, "Well, it's not like." So what was everyone one? else's intro? Uh, I never did one. We only did. We did Barbara's two or and three. Mine. No, we did Barbara's at uh, Pete's. Pete's. Doing yeah. Piano. She was up there. She was listening to the guy play the piano. She was like in a nice like jazzy dress or whatever. And I remember you tipped that guy like a hundred dollars. Because I remember you put money into the tip jar as a prop, and then he was like, "Oh, thanks," and he thought it was like, "I didn't do money. that. That was someone else who." And I was a uh, and then yeah. she steals the money and runs away. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You put a lot of money in there and you lost a lot of money. That so was we, a prop. We, we, yeah. we did uh, alternate takes. One where it was like normal and like classy, like it was it was supposed to be like me just standing downtown, and then the other one was like taking a dump. So it was like everyone was going to have a good intro and a bad That's intro, funny. and it was going to cycle. And you know, if that uh, the homeless guy ever becomes a regular on the podcast, we'll at least have an intro for him too. <laughs> we'll have what? For him? We'll have an intro. Oh, an intro for him. Yeah. Dude, when we worked, we worked downtown. There was so many. I mean, we saw someone like taking a crap in the parking lot next to the building. Mm -hmm. It is rough. There were people taking craps on a back door to our office. <laughs> Don't you remember that? There was always the like fucking fresh turd on the on the step leading into the back door. I felt like office. it was either a turd or someone tried to smash the handle off the door. God, it was it was the <laughs> fucking worst. I do not miss working downtown. It wasn't even like an, an alley. It was like in a shop up the stairs. It wasn't even. Oh like right, yeah. There was like yeah. It was how like did that happen. Up, you had to get into a place, a food place, and then go upstairs and then see the sign that says, "Do not enter." Yeah. Private. And then be like, oh, I'm going to break that door. <laughs> <laughs> when I lived in uh, UT, I lived in a co-op and drag rats, that's like the, the mm -hmm. homeless people that live on Guadalupe, they would used to break into our co-op's hey, basement. Hey, that's their word, Blaine. Drag rats? That's their Don't life. Say it. 
<laughs> That's their hierarchy. So the queen, king drag, uh, rat. Uh, anyway, so they broke into. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. They broke into our uh, like basement stairwell or whatever, and they just took like it was several of them. I think united and took shits like a lot of shits on the ground. And I remember there's this one kid. It's fucking lazy, and I made him clean it. And he threatened to open up a lawsuit against me for like making him clean all the homeless people's shit. Yeah, it's a good time. You smell like ass. <laughs> <laughs> good story. Um, here, let me let me read this other thing here. <coughs> <laughs> There's a lot of talk of yes, feces. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. You okay? Can I read this? Can I, I make some money? Stop thinking about feces. All right, <laughs> just stop. <laughs> all right. Why do you need lube? You're. No, never mind. I don't want no, to. Let's go. Let's go. No, let's no, 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 no. <laughs> he knows. You're not he, dating he a seventy. Right, right. He goes Paula. down this line of questioning. Well, okay. He's going to get it back Please. even worse. Yeah, you're right. Paula Blaine, is you, not seventy. You mumble your way through that, and I'll translate for you to Brandon. Go. Paula's just like younger. So. Brandon, why why aren't you getting her wet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm cringing over here. <laughs> God, it's good. Regard like you can go like, you know, stronger, faster, quicker. Uh. And then for the guy, it's like you laughed a little bit. Gavin. It's like a a thing. Are you gonna translate for me too and Blaine? Gavin. Is Wait, you last longer? Or less? Yeah, yeah. It like helps you last longer. Cause there's less like. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Like, there's less there's friction. Less, like, I can see. I can see what he's saying. Huh? And it's like. God damn it! But also, a dude, a dude produces his own lube. It's true. How, after what? No, no, no. Not afterwards. Okay, you're looking at cameras. You're saying that everyone is in, in this. No, cam. Gavin's. It's called pre-cum. Yeah, it is indeed. Thanks, Blake. Yeah, it's welcome. like that much. <laughs> How much? Do you for think? for you. Really? Are you are you like, dehydrated? Yeah, I don't drink a lot of water. <laughs> Is that how it's affecting me? <laughs> this this is like it's just got like slime coming out the end, and that's no! it. Oh, I yeah, it's not that much. Gus, Gus, what'd you do for I, New I Year's? I got a lot, a lot of pre. Really? I, I wonder if it's. What about you? What about me? A lot or a little? Uh, pretty fair amount. I also rely on the partner to produce. Maybe I make it up with the back end okay. though, like the regular. It's like. I, I it's was like a milk I, carton. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's interesting. It's like a milk carton. I mean, eventually, though, yeah, after a while, <laughs> you know, you you'll need it. So you've never, so you've never used lube. No, because, <laughs> well, no. Oh come on! You said well. I'll explain <laughs> later. Wait, let, me, let me let me translate again. Only in the butt. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the crudest <laughs> podcast ever. Um, <laughs> award winner. Yeah. I mean, after a while, though, like, it, you know, if you've been going for a while, they, they lose the, you know, and then you... They lose the what? The... You get a bit raw. Right. Yeah. I'm still translating. Yeah. For his mumbles. But there's other ways. There's other natural ways to get around that. Are you, have you found a new subject to, ch to transition? Other natural to? ways to get around that? I was looking for it, but Spit? you just kind of... Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. making... Okay. Yeah. There's, there's Is that the right. most like detail graphic we ever got on this podcast? I, 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 yeah, and I hate that it's me too. Because well, like, it was only ever going to be you, Blaine. <sighs> You've had a bad run this podcast. Well, no, actually, no. So with Josh, I know to get you for Christmas though next year. Do you take any to uh, New Year's? Huh? Huh? Was that a house party? No, I mean, did you bring any loot? Matt, so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna save you. Yeah, I think the woman who ran me over, like, she got stuck on the accelerator. Because it, the car was making that, like in reverse, there's only like one reverse gear. Yeah. So when you get up to high speed in reverse, it's like, and it was like fully doing that. And I didn't even bother looking. I just assumed she had it under control. She whacked me. I, I flew like 20 feet or you something. What? She had that under control. <laughs> I was like, she knows what she's doing. She's not going to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Wallet. She's only flooring it in reverse. <laughs> I didn't even look. I was like, oh, it's probably someone just, I can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just like slight, like shit was like a, it was a hatchback. Uh. It wasn't like a flat backed thing, so I didn't hit my head. I just like went like that. <laughs> I didn't hit my head on anything. I just like, hit all my side and I like. I wish I had slow my guys for that. Just like, <laughs> no. It's like watch, watch Dan get hit in the face with a soccer ball. Watch Gavin get hit in his whole body with a car. Yeah, and I walked home. It was fine. She I was got, freaking out there. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Some asshole backed into her, like, ran into me at a stoplight in New Orleans during Mardi Gras. He was probably drunk. And we, like, followed that car for, like, a really long time. 
and we were calling the cops. I had somebody calling the cops while I was driving behind him. Eventually, they just told us to let him go. But, uh, yeah. Why did I tell that story? That wasn't funny at all. No. Um, <laughs> That's good, gosh, I had a, a crazy thing happen to one of my family Dude, members. Dude, I got the deer in the headlights. Look like, as <laughs> yeah. you were telling the story, looking at me, you were like, oh, shit, this isn't going What's anywhere. I would have just lied. I would have been like, yeah, someone's throat like yeah. slit open and <laughs> blood went everywhere. <laughs> it's crazy. Mardi Gras, huh? <laughs> a crazy thing happened to one of my family members about 10, 15 <laughs> years ago. Listening to Serial has made me think, like, I'll never commit a murder, but there is Wink. a small chance, huh? Wink. Wink. But there's a small chance that, like, you know, I could be framed for a murder. I'm not going to commit a murder. Don't, don't do that. Don't I said I'll do it. I didn't do it. Oh, so uh, there's a small <laughs> chance that I could get framed. Stop that, Gus. That I could get framed for murder. And to prevent that, I feel like now I have to... God damn it, Gus. I feel like I need to, like, make alibis or, like, like make sure that my location... That sounds so dodgy. <laughs> what is that? There's no preemptively there? creating alibis. There's, like, an app that is an alibi. Really? At all times. And you can use this app to prove... Some crap so where you were. What, what, like, what if the prosecution? Is it someone who's gonna is it your phone always an alibi? It's yeah. got like tracking. Like it knows so where you are. You'd be like, oh no, pull my phone record. What if the prosecution knows you have the app? They're like, let's just see that app. You're like, oh, you know, I just, it's not important. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to. But, yeah, but this is like, show it. This it makes is the me, ultimate alibi, right? It I don't makes think me it think of everything, and I want to. I want to be safe. Yeah, it does. Like there's like recent locations. Like you can look up your your most common hmm. places that you go. Yeah, I think it pings satellites every so often. Keeps mm. a little look. Sorry, I'm we kind of over talked to you there, uh, Blaine. Sorry. It's okay. It's fine. I'll so Blaine, uh, continue to incriminate yourself <laughs> in your future trial. Uh, so, here's here's my thing. It's like with any illegal activity, uh -huh. I feel like you have to be the kind of person who flips a switch in their head and thinks, "Yeah, I'm going to break the law. I'm going to do illegal stuff now." Uh -huh. But like, I don't have that in me. Like, I'm never ever going to break the law in my entire life, and I know that as a fact from now. And then we'll cut to me in jail. <laughs> at some point, do a hard cut. But I'm pretty sure I never will, because it's going to have to be like a constant, a conscious decision to be like, flip. Now I'm, a, now I'm a criminal. Yeah. I just can't imagine doing it. It's like pre-built in me to not be a criminal. Hmm. Well, Is it in you? I could be a criminal. Sure. <laughs> what, would you, what would you do? I, I think Murder. <laughs> God damn. I think... <laughs> I'll do it. I'll kill someone. Brandon, what about do you? Do it. Now. This, this is the I'll worst fashion plan. You not be joking about this. No, I'm not going to use this. this. It's on camera. It's exhibit A. What's but that? It's, but it's like what crime? People who murder other people, I just can't relate to it anyway. No, it's but like, like you've actually ended someone's life. Isn't you moron? Yeah, idiot. I mean, people have genuine like chemical differences, you yeah. know, in their brains, and some people are just more likely to be aggressive or more likely but to get is anger in someone. I I, what I think chemical it's a, is that. I don't know. I'm just saying, like it's it's like you you just assume it's your decision making, but. It might not necessarily be it. Like somebody who's in your exact same situation, who maybe was grown, grew up the same way, but their brain works a little bit differently, might punch somebody. Right. So you like you talk about, or you always hear about, like crimes of passion. Like something yeah. happened, and someone's so angry they they you know kill someone or hurt someone. And it makes me think about like how sometimes you see there's certain people who when they get angry they'll like punch something or they'll break something. Like that I don't understand. Yeah. Because in my mind I'm like. Well, if you're so angry and you break something, like, then you have to clean it. It's like you're breaking your own thing. You're wasting your own money. Then you're taking your own time to clean it. But uh, it's like the same kind of person who would do that, like, elevated. Like, it's an elevated thing. It's like you then go on and punch someone instead of, like, something. Yeah, like, I mean, people punch the cops or something. Like, you know, some things are getting kind of crazy. A lot of times it's just, or a lot of times when you find somebody who's guilty of assault or convicted for assault, they have previous records of assault. They're just more inclined for whatever reason to be angry and aggressive like wasn't it the the shooter in austin back in the 60s he got on top of the U university of texas tower i think he had said in his letter like look look in my brain because yeah. i don't understand why i have to like you know do this but there's something telling me i do and i think they found some kind of growth i don't yeah. know if it was a, a tumor a, a that was putting pressure on part of his brain that could affect like his level of aggression so mm -hmm. I think it's just like sometimes it's stuff that's out of your control. The guy that had two penises. <laughs> Go on. Were they both his or was one his brother's? Oh. I think wow. I feel like we should have that image of like that stick drawing with the the guy holding the cup of coffee with his foot. We're like <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what if it was, was his brother? No. Like the th penis itself. That'd have been his. You can't like you either how do I say it? You're either two distinct 
He wouldn't just have the dick and nothing else. Well, sometimes yeah, what like, the people parents... get an extra arm and it's like the, the twin got stuck in him, didn't really form, but his arm came out. Well, what but if... the, what would it be the dick? What if the parents... <laughs> it might happen. Like, why would someone just have two dicks? Ooh. Well, what if the parents, like, there were other, like, appendages, but what if the parents said, all right, get rid of everything, keep the second penis? <laughs> like, the dad said, like, no, I'm not going to deprive my son. I would want to know which one was mine and which one was... <laughs> Well, one worked, better, twin. one worked better the than the other. The bigger one is yours. Your twin was like, whoop. One worked better than the other. It did? Yeah. What did he, he did like an AMA on it, didn't he? Yeah, it was on Reddit. Yeah. Uh, while we're on the subject of like weird Murray stuff, uh, have, you ever, have we ever talked about Call to, uh, Call to the Void on the podcast? I don't think so. It doesn't sound familiar. Okay, so basically, and I think there's a name for it in French. I can't remember what it's called. It's called like, it translates into English, Call to the Void. So say, you know, you're on a dock or something like that and then you see a person fishing and then there's this little voice inside your head that says push that person over the dock that's the call to the void every time every now and then you'll have these like little weird like you know i could stand up in the middle of this meeting and start cussing out uh gus in front of everybody like Mm -hmm. did you guys ever experience that like those little things where it's like like i used to get that as a kid but i don't really think those thoughts anymore it was as a kid in church because it's like everything you could possibly say is amplified by a million. Yeah. <laughs> so at my old job, you talked about like having a meeting or a conference room or something. Uh-huh. At my old job, I, uh, I, I, I hated that place. And it was a terrible company. And I wanted to get fired. <laughs> um, <laughs> so sometimes when there were conference calls, and there'd be like a big meeting oh, and we'd all be on the phone. I would just get up and lay down on the table and take a nap. <laughs> like in the room with other people? Yeah, there'd be like so, a room full of people on a conference call. I'd be like, all right, I don't want to do this anymore. And I would just lay down on the table so that's, and, that's and you. take a nap. That's you like answering to the call of void. You're doing that thing that your your brain is like, that's crazy. Why I didn't never you just do that. quit? Because I wanted severance. <laughs> but didn't, and didn't, they just kept promoting you? Yeah, they did actually. <laughs> wow. Was that um, a place you built like a little fort at some point? Yeah, that was it. So that's the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the place I built a fort. Again, I was just trying hey, Blaine, to get out of there. Hey, would you be into a girl who had two vaginas? Or would that weird you out too much? Does she have uh, Where's else? the placement? What do they look like? Uh, uh just one, one... Do I need lube? <sighs> One's above the other one. Okay. But there's other things there, too. Huh. The other do they, do they connect, up? or is it just like, is it What's like... the other thing? Does that matter? Two, like, the... Is it two separate tubes? Or is it like... Yeah, yeah. It's two complete... Vagina fascias. Okay. So are they like two, smaller because it's like nah. one two, of them? One of them is just higher up. Two labian. Labian. Two labians. <laughs> Do I have and then the is that the plural of labia? The the door knocker, right? Two of those. Door knocker. <gasps> Does she have two clits? Yeah. That's what I was. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Why didn't you just say that instead of door knocker? You feel weird. <laughs> Gavin, yes. You that feel weird cool. to say yes. fucking door knocker? Yeah. No, that everybody knows. It's like you're like, hey, I'm here. It's like a. That's even that worse. Like, what the no, hell is it's wrong not. With it's you. The, it doesn't have like. It's not like that hard edge that like. Ah. I would. Yeah. It's way better. Because I'm embarrassed to be sitting here with you guys. <laughs> Gavin, you're so red. I don't know if I've ever seen you that red in my life. Oh, I just like. I start conversations and Brandon makes it so worth it <laughs> every time. You say that, but you'll that it'll come to your head. You'll think of that. So, a door no, knock? I don't think I will. According to um, who is this? <clears throat> I don't know how to say this uh, Twitter handle. Ian Nikin, mm-hmm. uh, the guy who had two penises said in his AMA he did not absorb a twin. Interesting. They were both, both his. Mm-hmm. So, what Blaine, if, what was the answer to your? What was the answer? To absolutely. Question? Yeah. Really? It's like, do it's I need like, to go into why? It's like a yeah. built-in three-way. It's a little vulgar. Why? So. Oh no, we we don't do vulgar. On this podcast, you gotta, so you imagine talk about like you have twice the opportunity, or you have the ability to make her orgasm twice as much, essentially, because there's mu- there's more tools. But isn't to that like going with. to the teacher and asking for twice as much homework? You're like, to maybe to you, but I like I take pride in that kind of thing. You know, it's like, yeah, like you know, know. <laughs> you're able to, stuff. to do. I think we approach sex differently, Brandon. I guess I can tell you the biggest debate from this podcast with fans is going to be the use of blue. Just hold it. It's already on Twitter. Hold my Twitter. podcast award here. <laughs> <laughs> it's an award winning podcast. Oh. Did, we, did we ever so talk about Gavin was I... a yes or Sorry, Gavin was a yes or no to your own question? 
Well, I asked the question, so I don't have to answer it. Oh, by, bullshit. By bullshit. Bullshit. By law. Uh, honestly, I'd probably be a bit weirded out, but yeah. Huh? I